you are going to be hitting a milestone in a year or less. Another 40 one. years since the first record. Oh, 40 right, years yeah. since On Through the Night next year. 40 years since High and Dry in a little more than that. Have you thought about that? Have you thought about doing anything special to celebrate the first or second record when those anniversaries come up? You can't see my eyebrows on the radio. <laughs> there are cameras here, which eventually will... Um, well, thinking about it, we thought about it. You see, you've got to plan these things ahead. We thought about this about a year and a half ago. And um, there's going to be a, um, a celebratory release. I don't know how much of this I can say right now. I might be breaking Don't protocol. worry, nobody's listening. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I will say this much. There's, um, as a, as a, a companion piece to On Through the Night, there is a brand new, just mixed live performance from the Oxford Theatre in that 1980. Tour. From that tour. From that tour. Wow. Which has never been heard, never. And it is what it is. It's warts and all is what it is. It's us live in 90. You can't really, you know, we were discussing off mic, weren't we, about lip syncing or overdubbing. Oh, we'll touch on that. Um, you can't have it. You can't expect a 59-year-old me to go in and clean up a 20-year-old vocal. You. <laughs> 20, Nor should you. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. But I tell you this much, the band... Um, as I said in the liner notes, if, when you peer through the curtain of uncertainty that my voice was back in those days, there is a fantastic band on stage. And Rick, the two-armed Rick Allen with Sav was some rhythm section to con considering he was 16 years old and Sav was 17, I think, maybe 18. And Pete and, and Steve were 17 and 18 years old. Um, it was some band.